Okay, DeAndre, thank you so much for being here today. Congratulations on the win last night. Huge victory against wow. West Georgia, first conference game of the, of the year. Uh, there was a win. Um, mm -hmm. How did you guys make it happen last night? Team effort. Uh, it, it just – it just came down to just playing as a team. You know, uh, we've, we've, we've always had games where we was always close. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, in the final two minutes or so, we've never been able to make the play. And uh, we, we was finally able to come out and capitalize on some plays that we haven't been able to capitalize on. And, you know, at the end of the day, we played together. And so, you know, as long as you play as a team, you can always come up with a win. Well, you guys shut down the number three scoring team in the conference. Mm -hmm. Tell me about the mood in the locker room after the game and the confidence that you guys have moving forward. Because you got – a home stretch for a few games, but you got some tough games coming mm -hmm. up. Tell me about what this win means for you guys. Oh, it was it was huge. I mean, like we came uh, we came in very very excited. Uh, I mean, like we always knew we could do it, but to be able to actually bring it together, you know, it, it was just huge for us because uh, you know like we had always wanted that to happen, and so once we was able to actually see it, you know, happen, then we were we was actually very excited. Mm -hmm. And we're very excited about the next game, actually. So, tell me about how about the chemistry mm -hmm. with with your guys on the team. What what is that like? Do you guys hang out off the court, or we, we have some characters? Uh, we have some characters. I mean, I tell them I tell them a lot. Like, um, I don't I don't even know what to do with y'all myself. Uh, we we have a lot of characters. I mean, they're they're, they're fun to be around. You know, um, I mean. From 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 the funniest all the way down to this to, to the most serious, it's just like everybody their own personality. But we always find a way to make it jail. Yes, ma'am. Well, moving forward after a big game last night, what do you think is probably the most important thing that you guys need to work on and need to, or need to improve on going into the next few games? Urgency. Um, in a, in a lot of our games, we we literally have them up against the ropes. But then we never keep the urgency once we get up. And so we have a lot of games where we come out hot and then they'll end up coming back and then they'll somehow, they'll end up making a play, you know. Um, so I think urgency is our biggest thing, you know, being able to come out there and to not want it until we're up, but to want it the whole game. Because if we can make that happen throughout the whole game, then um, I, I really think we can be a problem for a lot of teams in this conference. What do you guys, as far as practice goes for the next two days, since you're at home, kind of walk me through that practice schedule. What, what are you guys going to work on? What, what does practice look like? Do you have a hard, hard couple days, or you kind of get some rest? Um, it's going to be more of rest, and especially since, you know, uh, we have a game Thursday and Saturday. Um, it's probably going to be a lot of, probably going to be a lot of shooting and um, probably just going, going over the other team plays and seeing, you know, what they do and, you know, some of their strong points and weak points. And that's probably going to be it for us. Well, tell me about UAH. What is the key to victory? Because last night you guys played excellent defense. Mm -hmm. So tell me about what you, what are what are some of UAH's strong points, and what do you guys have to do to get a win? Um, the the strongest point is being able to move that ball. I mean, they when it comes to moving the ball, they are they are probably the best team in the conference at that. And um, I think I think yet again, like it's going to come back to us playing as a team because um, when when you play against a great offense, you can't necessarily stop all of their options. But if you do. If, if somebody does drive in the lane, you know, like it's more comfortable if you know that somebody's there to help you, you know what I'm saying? And so I feel like the biggest thing for us in order for us to beat them would be for us to just play as a team. Well, let's talk about you for a second. So you're a senior. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about what this I MC experience has meant to you and what impact do you hope to leave on the basketball program? Oh, it, it's, been, it's been great, actually. It's been, it's been, um, I've, I've met some great people here. Like, um, I've, I've met some great people, and it's and it's also helped me as a person too. Not even not even just as an athlete, but to be able to come in and be around people who are just good people. You know, like it's it's, it's helped me want to be a better person myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, I just I just hope that um, I just hope that I'm able to be some type of positive light for the freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, and that they can just continue to work hard. Well, it seems like you've done that so far. Um, tell me about your future plans. What's next? Uh, I would. I would love to go across these uh, play, but but if that doesn't happen, um, I'm I'm going to want to move either Texas or Florida, I think, and uh, start start trying to cope somewhere. That's great. Yes, well, thank you so much for your time, DeAndre, and good luck this week. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.